Hypertension, commonly known as high blood pressure, is a medical condition characterized by elevated blood pressure levels in the arteries. Blood pressure is the force exerted by the blood against the walls of the arteries as it is pumped by the heart throughout the body. Blood pressure is measured using two values, systolic pressure and diastolic pressure. Systolic pressure represents the force when the heart contracts and pumps blood into the arteries, while diastolic pressure is the pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest between beats. Blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, and a typical reading is expressed as systolic pressure over diastolic pressure, example, 120-80 mmHg. Hypertension occurs when the blood pressure consistently remains high over time. It is a chronic condition and is classified into two categories. Primary, essential, hypertension. This is the most common type of hypertension, accounting for about 90 to 95% of cases. The exact cause is often unknown, but it is believed to result from a combination of genetic and environmental factors, such as diet, lifestyle choices, and stress. Secondary hypertension. This type of hypertension is caused by an underlying medical condition or medication. Conditions that can lead to secondary hypertension include kidney disease, hormonal disorders, certain medications, example, birth control pills, and narrowing of the arteries, known as renal artery stenosis. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, often does not cause noticeable symptoms in its early stages. This is why it is often referred to as the silent killer. People with hypertension can live with the condition for years without being aware of it. However, as hypertension progresses or becomes severe, some individuals may experience certain symptoms or signs that can indicate high blood pressure. These can include Headaches, persistent or severe headaches, particularly in the morning, can sometimes be a symptom of hypertension. However, headaches alone are not a reliable indicator of high blood pressure, as they can have various causes. Dizziness or lightheadedness. Some individuals with hypertension may experience episodes of dizziness or feeling lightheaded. This can occur due to the increased pressure within the blood vessels. Blurred vision. In rare cases of severely high blood pressure, vision problems or changes, such as blurred vision or difficulty focusing, may occur. This can be a sign of hypertensive retinopathy, a condition where prolonged high blood pressure damages the blood vessels in the retina. Chest pain. Severe hypertension can sometimes cause chest pain, often described as a tight or squeezing sensation. However, chest pain can also be a symptom of other heart-related conditions, so it's important to seek medical attention for an accurate diagnosis. Shortness of breath. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath can occur in individuals with extremely high blood pressure, particularly during physical exertion. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, can have various causes. In most cases, the precise cause of hypertension is not known, and it is referred to as primary or essential hypertension. However, several factors and conditions can contribute to the development of high blood pressure. Here are some common causes and risk factors associated with hypertension. Age, blood pressure tends to increase with age. As individuals get older, the risk of developing hypertension increases. This is primarily due to the natural aging process and the gradual stiffening and narrowing of the arteries. Family history, hypertension can run in families, suggesting a genetic component. If you have close relatives, such as parents or siblings, with hypertension, your risk of developing it is higher. Lifestyle factors. Unhealthy lifestyle choices can significantly contribute to the development of hypertension. These include Poor diet. Consuming a diet high in sodium, salt, saturated fats, and cholesterol can increase blood pressure. Additionally, low intake of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, as well as excessive alcohol consumption, can be risk factors. Lack of physical activity, leading a sedentary lifestyle and not engaging in regular physical activity can increase the risk of hypertension. Obesity, being overweight or obese puts extra strain on the heart and blood vessels, 
leading to higher blood pressure. Tobacco use, smoking or using tobacco products can cause a temporary increase in blood pressure and damage the arteries, increasing the risk of hypertension. Existing medical conditions, certain medical conditions can contribute to the development of hypertension. These include kidney disease, conditions that affect the kidneys, such as chronic kidney disease or renal artery stenosis, can lead to elevated blood pressure. Hormonal disorders, hormonal imbalances, such as an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism, or an underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, can contribute to hypertension. Sleep apnea, sleep disorders, particularly obstructive sleep apnea, have been linked to high blood pressure. Diabetes, people with diabetes are at an increased risk of developing hypertension, as both conditions often coexist. Stress, chronic stress or long-term exposure to stressful situations can contribute to elevated blood pressure. Although stress alone may not cause hypertension, it can exacerbate existing high blood pressure. Here are the common approaches to treating hypertension. Lifestyle modifications. Healthy diet, adopting the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, dash, eating plan, which emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and low-fat dairy products. It also involves reducing sodium, salt, intake and limiting saturated fats and cholesterol. Regular physical activity. Engaging in aerobic exercise, such as brisk walking, jogging, cycling, or swimming, for at least 150 minutes per week. Physical activity helps lower blood pressure and improve overall cardiovascular health. Weight management, achieving and maintaining a healthy weight through a combination of diet and exercise. Losing excess weight can significantly reduce blood pressure. Sodium restriction. Limiting sodium intake to no more than 2,300 mg mg per day or even lower if advised by a healthcare professional. Reducing salt consumption helps lower blood pressure. Limiting alcohol consumption. Moderating alcohol intake to recommended limits, up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. Excessive alcohol consumption can raise blood pressure. Stress management. Adopting stress-reducing techniques, such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, yoga, or engaging in hobbies and activities that promote relaxation. Medications If lifestyle modifications alone are insufficient to control blood pressure, healthcare professionals may prescribe antihypertensive medications. The choice of medication depends on various factors, including blood pressure levels, presence of other medical conditions, and individual response. Commonly prescribed antihypertensive medication classes include diuretics, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors, and angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs. Each class works differently to lower blood pressure. It's important to take prescribed medications as directed by the healthcare professional and to continue regular follow-up appointments to monitor blood pressure and adjust the treatment plan if needed. Regular monitoring and follow-up. Regular blood pressure monitoring is essential to assess the effectiveness of the treatment plan. This may involve measuring blood pressure at home using a home blood pressure monitor or visiting a healthcare professional for regular checkups. It's important to attend scheduled appointments and communicate any concerns or changes in symptoms to the healthcare professional. Adjustments to the treatment plan may be necessary over time, depending on blood pressure readings and overall health status.